Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions with detailed answers of Django in full stack web development interviews. 1. What is Django and what are its core components? Answer. Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean, pragmatic design. Its core components include an ORM object relational mapping, a view system, URL routing, and an admin interface. 2. Explain Django's MTV model template view architecture. Answer. MTV in Django stands for model, template, and view. Models handle data, templates handle user interface and views handle user requests and serve responses. 3. What is the purpose of ORM in Django? Answer. ORM object relational mapping in Django enables developers to interact with the database using Python objects, eliminating the need to write Skull queries directly. 4. Describe the role of the Django admin interface and its significance. Answer. The Django admin interface is an automatic CRUD create, read, update, delete interface for models. It allows easy management and interaction with database records. 5. What are Django's class-based views, and why are they beneficial? Answer. Class-based views in Django are a way to structure views as Python classes. They provide reusable and inheritable views making code more modular and maintainable. 6. Explain Django's URL routing system. Answer. Django's URL routing maps URL patterns to views. It helps navigate user requests to the appropriate view or function in the application. 7. How does Django handle user authentication and authorization? Answer. Django provides a robust authentication system, including built-in forms and authentication backends. Authorization is implemented through permissions and groups. 8. Describe Django's middleware and its significance. Answer. Middleware in Django is a framework for processing requests or response. It's used for global processing of requests and responses in a Django application. 9. What are Django signals? and how are they used? Answer. Django signals allow certain senders to notify a set of receivers when a particular event occurs within the application. They enable decoupled applications and provide a means of connecting various parts of the application. 10. What is a Django project, and what is an app in Django? Answer. A Django project is the entire application and its configurations, including settings, URLs, and apps. An app is a web application that does something each app serves a specific function. 11. Explain Django migrations and their significance. Answer. Migrations in Django are changes to the models and are used to propagate changes to the database schema. They keep the database structure in sync with the code base. 12. How does Django handle forms and form validation? Answer. Django's forms handle user input and they can validate that input to ensure it meets certain criteria defined by the developer. 13. What are Django templates, and how do they work? Answer. Django templates are HTML files that contain placeholders for inserting dynamic content. They use template tags and filters for logic and display. 14. Explain Django's catching system and its significance in web applications. Answer. Django provides a catching framework for improving performance by storing chunks of data in memory, reducing load times. 15. Describe the purpose of Django REST framework. Answer. Django REST framework is a powerful and flexible toolkit for building web APIs. It's commonly used to create APIs for mobile applications or third-party integrations. 16. How does Django handle security and prevent common vulnerabilities? Answer. Django comes with built-in protections against common security threats, such as skull injection, cross-site scripting, and cross-site request forgery. 17. What is a Django context processor, and how is it used? Answer. Context processors in Django allow specific data to be added every context of every template rendering in a Django project. 18. 
Explain Django's request response cycle. Answer. The request response cycle in Django involves receiving a request, processing it through URL routing, executing the view, generating a response, and sending it back to the user. 19. What is Django's session framework and how is it used? Answer. Django's session framework allows data to be persisted across requests. It's commonly used for managing user sessions. 20. Describe the Django project structure and the role of each component. Answer. A Django project consists of a collection of settings, apps, URLs, and other configurations. Each component plays a distinct role in the application's functionality. 21. What are Django's class-based views? And when would you use them? Answer. Class-based views are a way to structure views as Python classes. They're used to provide reusable views and reduce redundancy in code. 22. How does Django support internationalization and localization? Answer. Django provides tools for developers to create applications that can be adapted to various languages and regions. It supports translations for text and formatting. 23. Explain the purpose of the Django shell and how it's used. Answer. The Django shell is an interactive console for executing Python code in the context of a Django project. It's useful for testing, debugging, and development. 24. What are Django migrations, and why are they important? Answer. Migrations in Django are changes to the models and are used to propagate changes to the database schema. They keep the database structure in sync with the code base. 25. What is the role of Django middleware in web applications? Answer. Middleware in Django is a framework for processing request or response. It's used for global processing of requests and responses in a Django application. 26. How does Django support routing and URL patterns? Answer. Django's URL routing maps URL patterns to views, allowing developers to direct incoming requests to the appropriate view or function in the application. 27. What is Django's session framework and how is it used? Answer. Django's session framework allows data to be persisted across requests. It's commonly used for managing user sessions. 28. Explain Django's support for handling file uploads. Answer. Django handles file uploads through forms and model fields like file field or image field. It simplifies handling and storage of uploaded files. 29. How does Django handle static and media files in web applications? Answer. Django provides a way to manage static files such as CSS, JavaScript, and images with the static files configuration. It also handles user uploaded files media through the media configuration. 30. Describe the purpose of Django templates and how they're used. Answer. Django templates are HTML files with placeholders for inserting dynamic content. They are rendered to produce the final HTML sent to the client. These questions and detailed answers aim to provide an understanding of Django's core concepts and functionalities, empowering individuals to showcase their knowledge during interviews for full-stack web development roles. For more exciting tips, tricks, and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.